welcome back to this Darktable tutorial. And in this video I will talk about why my RAW files look so dark compared to the JPEG from my camera or the viewfinder. Um, I do have some RAW files here, this one and this one, and I extracted the embedded JPEG files from the RAW files. So, as we can see, this RAW file matches the JPEG. Let's take a look, and as we can see, it doesn't match at all. So, the thing that is going on here is that the camera maker adds a tone curve and you will need to do something similar to match this JPEG. And other RAW converters like Lightroom, DxO or Capture One, they do the same. They add a tone curve. I can do the same here and in that case I will use Base Curve. And I could take this one, and as you can see, it matches, kind of, the JPEG. Let's take a look at the next one. It's still pale and dark, but this is super bright. Okay, let's do the same. Let's add a base curve. And I already have the profile here for Canon. And it doesn't ma matches. It doesn't match at all. So what's going on here? Well, this raw file is a highlight tone priority ISO 200. So it means Canon underexposes the raw file one stop, but it keeps the brightness of the JPEG. So. What I need, will need to do is, I add my base curve and I also brighten up the picture with one stop. Because Canon underexposes the RAW file one stop. Well, it looks better, doesn't it? We can take another example and we can use RAW therapy. This is the ISO 100 RAW file and it matches the JPEG. The thing here is that RAW therapy has this auto-matched tone curve. So it copies the embedded JPEG and tries to to create a tone curve that looks like th the JPEG. So if you take a look at this tone curve and we can go to the next RAW file, Highlight Tone Priority RAW file, and I, as I told you, it was underexposed one stop by Canon. And as you can see, the tone curve is different add more bright, um, they have brightened it a little bit more. I could just turn it off and it will look like this. And the same goes, let's have a, so the same goes for this one. I can just turn it off and they look just the same, almost. They don't have exactly the same exposure. So I hope you have learned something about Darktable and why your RAW files look so dark. Anyway, let's do something about it. Um, so base curve is the old way or the old method Darktable used. The new one is uh, Filmic. To preserve the dynamic range a little bit better. And um, I do have 
a profile here, Filmic version 5 profile. And it looks it looks better than just the base curve or just the uh, the embedded JPEG. Another way would be to use this one and I do have a profile here also to copy and the JPEG. And yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something new about this.